subscribe saurav mishra notes for more technology world updates for free videos just click the red subscribe button it's free we are all developers and we are all love debugging because if we are going to create any product so we want to debug how values are coming and how we can understand all these things so for this purposes if i am going to talk about the c sharp side so you have a debugger you have to just select your particular code where you want your debugging you can debug it very easily but what happen when you are going to when you want to debug a particular client side scripting like jquery or javascript so for this i am giving you one example in this example you can see we have this particular page and in this page i have some radio button in front of me and i just want to check what are the values i am getting if i am going to click on any one of radio button so for this purposes we have a simple command provided by javascript which is debugger so or suppose if i want to debug when any user click on any of the radio button and when my click event will be generated so i want to start my debugging what are the business logic i have written and what are the values i am getting on that particular business logic so first of all i want to tell you if you are going to write debugger here in front of your javascript code so it will be only run on your internet explorer if you are going to use this with the use of google chrome so how to debug with google chrome i will tell you in the next episode but in this episode i am going to tell you only about the debugger command if you are using debugger in front of your code so right now i am going to use only internet explorer so here i am going to use internet explorer and my application is a start running and as you know we have applied this debugger in my after if i am going to click on radio so my debugger will start when my click event will generate so if i am going to click on any of the radio button right now my debugging is a start right now and if i am going to press f10 this time and again f10 you can see i am getting the value so this is the way you can do debugging very easily with the use of your internet explorer on your sp.net client side scripting on javascript or jquery thanks for watching that's it from my side